This is our two gang smart dimmer, the L22. While the two gang is our most popular dimmer, we also have one, three, and four gang smart dimmers as well. Included in the box is the smart dimmer itself with a spacer frame, which we will talk about in a moment, and two mounting screws. While we call these smart dimmers, they're much more than just a switch. These are essentially home automation controllers that are engineered to act as part of a standard lighting circuit. They're specifically designed to replace existing bog standard light switches, which means that Lightwave smart dimmers are a retrofit solution that don't require any additional wiring. So for installers, just run your standard first fix wiring and Lightwave will work on the back of that. Once paired with the Link Plus, you can control and monitor your lighting from anywhere using the Lightwave app and also using voice through Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant and Apple HomeKit. Aside from the premium finish and attractive look, the first thing you'll notice is that the build quality is superb. It feels like a sturdy bit of kit when you pick it up. The faceplate and the buttons are metal, available in both stainless steel and white metal finishes, and this gives the product a lovely high-end feel and an aesthetically pleasing design. The faceplate can be popped off using this little slot on the bottom of the dimmer, so you can see the holes for mounting the dimmer. Be careful not to scratch the faceplate when you do this. To put the faceplate back on, use the top lip to hook it onto the dimmer and click the bottom back into place. Looking at the side of the dimmer, you can see the 30mm depth of the product, which is standardized across our dimmer range and allows it to fit into a standard 35mm back box. If your back box is too shallow and the wiring is presenting difficulties, this spacer frame is included with every dimmer and can be used to give you an extra seven to eight mils of clearance. Some people also prefer the way this looks on the wall. Looking at the terminals on the back, you'll see the usual L and N symbols for live and neutral. And these two symbols with an arrow are for the switched line out. You'll notice on our multi-gang dimmers, there is one line in for the device and there is a switched line out for each individual gang. As this is a two gang dimmer, you'll see it has two switched line terminals. It's important to note a neutral is optional for our smart dimmers and we recommend using a neutral if you have the option. This can improve the dimming performance and a neutral also lowers the minimum load required. However, like in most British homes, if you don't have a neutral present, just make sure that the load you have wired into the primary gang of the dimmer is more than 10 watts. Another important note is that these dimmers are only compatible with dimmable LEDs. So make sure the lamp is the correct symbol on it to signify that it's dimmable. One of the really great features of our dimmers is that you only need to wire in the primary gang into your electrics. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, you just need to wire in the first gang and the buttons on the second gang can become buttons that trigger any other Lightwave device or automation around the home. We call this the magic button. Back to the front of the device, these two LED indicators will come on once the device is powered and start to blink green. This shows that the device has entered auto calibration mode, where the dimmer is testing the dim range and attributes of the lamps on your circuit in order to optimize performance. You'll know when the dimmer is auto calibrating because your lighting circuit will come on and perform a bit of theater for you. Once finished, the lighting circuit will then turn off. The LED indicator light will go into its default settings, which is red for off and blue for on. You can customize the color and the brightness of the LED indicator within our app to match your decor, and you can even automate this indicator light to be on during the day and off at night. This would be useful for a dark cinema room or a bedroom. We hope this gives you a great overview of the technical aspects of our smart dimmers, and please check out the next video in this series, which shows you how to install the device correctly and pair it to the Lightwave Link Plus Hub. We highly recommend consulting a suitably qualified electrician before attempting any electrical install, so why not check out the Lightwave Pro installer map on our website to find your nearest Lightwave recommended installer.